Okay, in this video, we are going to be looking at subtracting integers. Uh, it's funny we separate the adding and subtracting, but subtracting brings just a little bit more things that you have to worry about when you are um, performing an operation. So let's establish some rules. So subtracting integers, like if I had 10 minus 8, those are two integers, subtracting those things like we've done forever. Uh, but if I start going and using some negative integers uh, where I have something like that, then the question gets a bit more interesting. Like, is that answer negative 2 or negative 18 or positive 18? Or, like, what do, what do we do in this kind of case? Or how about another one? Minus 12 minus a negative 3. Once you start getting lots of negatives in there, it starts getting a question where uh, there's pr there could be a potential conflict. So we want to establish the rules for doing these uh, and then try some. So let's take a look at these ones here. Maybe disregard this part just for a second. Okay, let's take a look. I'm, I'm trying to establish some kind of a rule here. Sort of like we did with the other ones. Same sign, subtract different signs, no, same sign, add, different sign, subtract, larger number sign. One of the issues with doing that is, like, is this 8, is it a subtracting a positive 8? Or is it subtract, or is it adding a negative 8? Or hopefully you can sort of see my issue with uh, surrounding some of those. This one here, I can understand that one completely. But here, these other three, I'm just sort of wondering. This is how I do it, and, and you, again, it's the gambling metaphor that you can use. I'm up 5, I lose 8, I'm down 3. I'm down 7, I lose another 5, I'm still in the hole 12. Up 15, lose 10, I'm at 5. Uh, here's where my gambling thing, I don't know if it works or not. I'm down 5, and then I lose a negative. You see where I've got uh, troubles there. So, what the book suggests is, rather than worrying about subtracting, they say, why don't you convert all of those to addition? And when you convert something to addition, like if I have 5, take away 8, to convert that to addition, what I do is I change this minus here to a plus, but when I change that, then I have to change the sign of the 8. So the 8, instead of being positive, changes to a negative 8. So this question and this question are the same. Then I have my rules for addition. Different signs, so I'm subtracting. 8 take away 5 is 3, and I take the sign of the thing that's furthest from 0. This one's furthest from 0, so it'll be a negative 3. Let's see how that works with the next one. So negative 7, instead of subtract 5, I'm going to change that subtract to an add, and then the positive 5 changes to a negative 5. Same sign, add, and keep the sign. So what you're doing, rather than subtracting, really what you're doing is you're adding the opposite, and then we're using the rules for adding. Let's see how that works for this one. This one you'd probably just leave it as a 5, but you, the same rule would apply. Change that subtract to an add, and this 10 becomes negative. Different signs subtract, furthest one from 0, take its sign. Okay, now here's the one where it will really help me, because this one I was sort of confused where I'd go with that. So over here, instead of subtract, I change that subtract to an add, and the negative 3 changes to a positive 3. Now I've got a question where I've got different signs, so I subtract, 5 take away 3 is 2, the one furthest from 0 is the 5, so the sign has to be negative. Hopefully you can see the, those rules. Maybe let's, I'll go to this next page, and I'll just put the rules here. So um, add the opposite. So when we're subtracting, and this works every time, I can add the opposite. It takes a little bit more time. I could have maybe written this as negative 6. I would know that right away. But it takes a bit more time, but might as well write it. So I'm going to go 2 plus, and the 8 becomes negative. 
Now my rule for adding is different signs subtract. 8 take away 2 is 6. And the thing furthest from 0 is this negative 8, so my answer would be negative 6. Try it with this one. Negative 6, the minus changes to a plus, which 10 changes to a negative. Same sign, add. 6 and 10 is 16, and keep the sign. Next one. Oh, this is just a normal subtracting. Oh, let's, let's write it again. 12.4 plus a negative 5.3. Rules are different signs subtract, so that would be 7.1, I think. And this one's furthest from 0, so it would be positive. Same sign as that one. Next one, uh, negative 8 plus a positive 11. Different signs, so I subtract thing furthest from zero is the positive num number, so my answer is positive. Last one, uh, minus 8 plus, this is a negative 8, it changes to a positive 8. So negative 8 plus 8, you they're different signs, so you subtract, 8 minus 8 is 0, and 0 doesn't have a sign. Okay, hopefully that's, that's getting so you're feeling a bit more comfortable with those. Maybe just for a second, let's try uh, those on a, a calculator. Oh, where'd my calculator go? Right there. Okay, calculator, come on. Uh, it's coming. There we go. Uh, oh, it takes a second. Perfectly fine. Okay, so if my calculator say I'm doing this one, I could type it exactly as it sits there. So negative 8 minus, and in brackets, I could put a negative 8. Bracket, go. Comes out to zero. Let's try and make this one. Okay. So negative eight. Notice the difference between a negative and a subtract. On your calculator, you can't just put a, a negative for each of those. It won't recognize it. You have to put a negative or a subtract. This is negative. Subtract, negative. Okay. Negative eight. Subtract, in brackets, a negative 11. Okay, go. Positive 3. Just like we had seen there. Okay? Hopefully that helps you out with the calculator. Here's some. Maybe try these ones and pause when you're done and just see what uh, answers are. Okay, so here we go. This one would be negative 8. This one would be uh, 7. This one would be uh, negative 3. And this one would be a negative 23.3. Okay, so just, you can do them either way you want, but if you're doing them with that change, add the opposite, like this one would be negative 12, plus the negative 9 changes to a positive 9. Back to those rules, different signs, so I subtract, 12 take away 9 is 3, the one furthest from 0 is this one, so that's a sign that it gets. There's a couple more you could try, it'd be fun to try these ones on, on uh, calculator. But you can try these and, and try a bunch more from the textbook. Key with getting good at subtracting and adding integers is doing lots of practice. Get so that you can just do things in your head. Maybe I'll try this one. Uh, minus 6 plus a negative 2 plus a negative 4 plus a negative 12 plus 3. Okay. Same sign, so I add. That's 8, negative. And then... Same sign, so I'd add, so it would be 8 and 4 is 12, so it's still uh, negative 12. Negative 12 plus a negative 12, same sign, so I add, so it's 24, so it would be negative 24. And the end would be negative 24 plus 3, different sign, so I subtract. <coughs> Furthest from 0 would be this one, so your sign would be negative 21. Okay, practice some more. Here's just one last little uh, question where um, you could you could use a negative sign to help you answer it. Highest recorded temperature in Canada was <clears throat> 45 uh, or uh, whatever, uh, so Fahrenheit, let's do Celsius. Um, the lowest temperature ever recorded in Canada was negative 63. So negative 63 is down here somewhere. And positive 45 is up here somewhere. So the question is, how much higher was the temperature in Middale, that's that one, than this one? 
So one way you could do that is you could say 45. You're wanting to find the difference, right? So you'd subtract this number here, a negative 63. So I've got 45, subtract a negative 63. I can do what we've been looking at, add the opposite. So I'll change 45 minus, I'll change that to a plus, and the negative 63 now becomes a positive 63. So now I've got same sign, add, keep the sign. So the answer would be 108. So positive 108. In other words, the difference between those two temperatures is 108. And that makes sense. If you go from this one up to here, it'd be 63, and then you'd have to go another 45 up. So 108 degrees Celsius, that's, that would be the difference, uh, how much higher this one was than that one. Okay, so we have taken a look at subtracting integers. The main thing with subtracting integers is you add the opposite. So if I have minus 3 minus a negative 8, if I wanted to know the answer for that, I would change the minus to an add and change the negative 8 to a positive 8. And then use the same rules as addition. Different signs, so I subtract, it would be a 5. This one's furthest from 0, so it would be a positive 5. Practice lots and lots of those. That'll help you throughout your math courses.